வணக்கம் ஐம் சூப்பர் எக்ஸைட்டட் டு வெல்கம் யூ டு திஸ் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் பயோமெடிக்கல் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்டேஷன் In this course, we will focus on understanding the principles, the technologies and uh, the regulatory standards behind measurement systems used in processing and acquiring of physiological signals in humans. The key themes that will be part of this course are biomedical sensors and transducers, biopotential measurement, instrumentation means small instrumentations. big instruments signal processing basic signal processing for instrumentation and regulatory and safety standards i expect that at the end of the course the students will be able to design analyze and interpret physiological data physiological measurements and uh, critically discuss and debate their role in human healthcare it is a basic outline of the course so we start out with the uh, introduction to measurement systems sensors and transducers signal characteristics and basics of amplifiers like what is gain what is impedance what is cmrr what is uh, input impedance output impedance what are the requirements for biopotential measurements filtering and noise reduction what are the various types of filters that are used in uh, biosignals low pass filter high pass filter notch filter band pass filter types of sensors resistive sensors strain gauges and thermistors capacitive sensors that are used to measure displacements inductive sensors like uh, lvdts piezoelectric sensors hall effect sensors and then we move on to pressure and temperature measurement blood pressure cuff based methods such as uh, sigma manometer invasive methods that are used more frequently in icus and uh, temperature measurement using thermocouples thermistors to flow and respiratory measurements various types of flow measurements are possible electromagnetic ultrasonic thermal measures now depending on the situation and the condition the measurement will vary the respiratory and cardiac output measurements again where you are applying will decide what instrument you use and then electro design measurement of biopotentials origin of biosignals types of electrodes and skin and electrode interface and equivalent circuits for these electrodes and issues with recording what are the challenges with recording and uh, what considerations we should have for different types of biopotentials it turns out that uh, different types of biopotentials have different noise characteristics accordingly we will have to design uh, the amplifier then biopotential measurement techniques like ecg eeg emg erg eog gsr and pcg what is pcg phonocardiogram check out the acronyms for all these needle emg then for measuring blood pressure we discuss various direct and indirect methods for example the cuff based sphygmo manometer that is still being used in the primary care centers and in the icu for continuous blood pressure mo- monitor we will use direct blood pressure measurement systems probably using catheters yes. then ventilators what is shown here is types of sensors that are used in uh, ventilators and uh, then therapeutic devices such as pacemakers external pacemaker implanted pacemaker various types of pacemakers and advanced technology then we move on to defibrillators those that are used to give shocks to patients at specific situations then we look at pulse oximeters this became a hit this became so popular in the covid time remember what was its use and then we move on to hemodialysis is essentially an artificial kidney how are they designed how are they fabricated and manufactured and what are some of the design considerations and usage considerations for these then we move on to lasers in medicine types of uh, lasers used in biomedical applications and uh, clinical safety considerations then for safety another critical topic is the topic of isolation electrical isolation from the patient because this is going to be used on humans there are various ways through which we can provide isolation these are optical isolation method transformer based methods capacitive methods and then some standards 
international standards that are there, FDA regulations that are there and some compliances towards some of the regulations and then amplifier types, differential amplifier right like driven uh, amplifier, instrumentation amplifier and types of filters we already mentioned this and ways to reduce noise and interference. With this we come to the end of this uh, intro video. I look forward to seeing you inside the course and uh, interacting with you in good detail. Thank you very much and I welcome you to this exciting journey.